hey, you made it to video number four. How cool is that? How does it get any better than that? So in today's video, we will just discuss some pragmatic tools that you can include in your own ghost whispering repertoire. <laughs> All right, so totally relax. And feel your feet on the body, feel your feet on the floor, get a sense of connection with your body. Like if you want to touch yourself on your thighs, feel your butt on the floor, get a little bit of connection going on with your body and relax more. All right. Now, let's ask for all of the spirits that are there in the room with you or that may be there in the room that you're in or the house you're in or the building you're in. All the spirits that are present in your room, in your house, in your building, tell them to please step outside. That's it, a simple request. Tell them all to please step outside for a moment or a few moments. Now, at this point, I would like for you to notice what occurred for you. Is there anything different with your perception, like how you sense your body? Is there anything different with your breath or your headspace? Anything you can tell, write them down. Please. My sense is, for some people, it's actually literally the room getting lighter. For some people, it's like, you know, they can breathe better or, you know, the body gets lighter or they get relaxed, etc., etc., etc. when spirits are not pressing on their spaces. So this is an important distinction for you to know how it feels when your space around you is not clogged with spirits all the time. Why it's clogged is a different story. If we can start to handle and address when you start ghost whispering, when you start talking to entities. Okay. So get a sense of that. Does it make things easier for you is the first question. Would you like to have more of this space as a part of your life and living? All right, in addition to that, I'm gonna present one of the clearings that we have from Access Consciousness and Talk to the Entities that will start addressing ghost whispering, that will start addressing clearing the entities because in the curriculum of what is possible with spirits, the first step is, you know, acknowledging that, that, that they are there, which we just did, acknowledge them, ask them to step out. And then some of them may require the clearing. Okay. Some of them may require the clearing, meaning some can be cleared and then they leave. How do we clear entities? You ask them a question, truth, who are you? Now you don't wait for the response. Because in this question, there is also an energetic request of acknowledging them, asking them to turn to you. I know it may sound scary, you are just ask them to turn to you, but it's done usually quite faster, so you don't need to worry about it. You ask them truth, who are you? And that in itself gets their attention, and you ask them truth, who were you before that? 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 And notice I'm repeating this one. The reason I'm repeating this question is asking truth, who were you before that, will allow them to get a sense of what they were, who they were in a previous lifetime, and it allows them to roll back more and more and more and more and more in time till, the, till such point they get a sense of, oh, there've been many, 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 many things. And then you ask them truth, who will you be in the future? And they get a sense, oh, I've been so many things, I can choose another lifetime. And then they go with ease. And that's, how we clear entities. Now, how do you know if it's working or not? So let me just explain that also a little bit. You ask the first question, truth, who are you? And you ask the second question, truth, who are you before that? You repeat that question, truth, who are you before that? Till some sort of an energetic shift occurs. It could be yawning, it could be sighing differently, whatever that, or just lightness in the room, whatever that is for you. So just that's the only indication that the energy shifted. And that's all you need to be aware of for now. Truth, who are you? Truth, who are you before that? Truth, who are you in the future? So let's look at this. Let me just demonstrate that for you. Put that into practice. So truth, who are you? Truth, who are you before that? 
Shoot to river for that, shoot to river for that, shoot to river for that, shoot to river for that. Shoot who will you be in the future? So that for me personally was an indication of energy shifting my body, taking a deep sigh of relief and some sort of a yawning, energy shifting. Shoot who will you be in the future? Go now, you can go now, thank you. Right, wrong, good, bad, online, pop, pop, shots, voice, poets, and beyonds. So this is how you get started on your journey to claiming and owning what's occurring in the spirit world for you, okay? Perceiving how the space around you and your body feels like when entities are not pressing against your space and learning how to clear entities. In the next video, we'll be talking about some more resources. Look forward to seeing you. Bye-bye.